asking, didn't Jesus turn water into wine? Uh, Jesus did turn water into wine, but it was non-alcoholic wine. Yeah, because Jesus is not going to help you get drunk. Yeah, Jesus Christ says drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. In fact, Jesus said that the greatest commandment is to love God with all of your heart, soul, mind, and strength. When you're getting drunk, you're not loving God with all your mind. So thereby you are breaking the greatest commandment. Uh, abortion. Yes. Uh, the top right, uh, the top left corner uh, represents abortion. If, if you are a baby killing whore, uh, you deserve to die. In fact, you deserve to burn in hell for your sin. If you murder your baby, you deserve hell. If you murder your baby, you deserve hell. Now, God can forgive you, but you have to admit that it's wrong. You have to admit that your sin is wrong. Okay, do we have any questions? They're gonna have to speak up. Well, I'm I'm preaching right now and they don't want to interrupt me. Yeah. What's that? I I got my degree from the burning bush, like Moses. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, <clears throat> if, if, uh, that, br that reminds me, that reminds me, on this side here, we have marijuana. Now, if you smoke marijuana, uh, you are making your mind dazed and confused. And you're making yourself half-baked. And you are uh, not loving God with all of your mind. You're not being sober-minded. In fact, when you smoke the wacky tobacco, uh, you get, you might start thinking it's okay to be gay. I have noticed, I have noticed, I have noticed that people who smoke marijuana usually also think that it's okay to be gay. You get so confused smoking your marijuana, you think maybe, maybe it's okay to stick the pee pee in the poo poo. Uh, that is not correct. <clears throat> Go ahead. What's that? So. These are my brothers uh, from church. Uh, they are here to preach the gospel to you. They don't want to see you guys go to hell. This guy says that there's a lot of women over here with their behinds and their breasts hanging out all day. That's true. This man is speaking some truth here. And God is going to judge you if you do that, if you lust for them, God is going to judge you. Yeah, my God is better than your God. My God is going to judge you. Oh, it's an abortion. Oh, okay. If you commit abortion, you are a Hey, on. Take my, take my water bottle. Huh? Take my water bottle. Hey, 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 Well, you, you didn't forsake your sin. 
loves you. Yes, so I want to make one thing very clear. If you're out here getting drunk, you are not a Christian. Are you a Christian? What are you doing over here? You're trampling the blood of Jesus Christ underfoot. Jesus drank wine. And you're you're disrespecting the blood of Jesus Christ. Not the wine. wine. Jesus the drank wine. Drunk person yeah. will go to hell. So you're sitting in your room all Jesus sober. What the fuck are you doing in the bar, though? I don't want to comfort you in your sin, because if you die right now, you will go to hell. I. I care about your soul. What do you do for the hungry and the poor because you're sober? Can a drunk guy not go work a fucking eight-hour shift just like you? Build the fucking houses that poor people need. See, what we'll makes you better because you're fucking sober? You, do, you start doing, you start making bad choices. On your fucking day off. Like you're not you fucking building the houses that poor people need. Yeah, you got a fucking beer and you relax. When you, and you go back to fucking work and help you. Like I, I, I am trying to help you. No, you're not. You you're gonna fucking break. Judge the people because they let them be Ethiopian. You are starving spiritually. You do not have the bread of life. Jesus Christ is the bread of life. Andre. Neglected your ancestors. Bullshit. I respect my ancestors. I respect Adam. I respect Noah. I respect uh, all of my grandfathers that suffered for the faith. Uh, I praise God. I have uh, ancestors. Uh, that went to prison for Jesus Christ. Glory to God. He says he thought Jesus was about forgiveness. You know what? Jesus Christ can forgive you, but Jesus Christ does not forgive everyone. Jesus Christ only forgives those that repent. Now, do you know what repentance is? Well, they settle the body parts now. Gotcha. Yeah. Coexist with false philosophy that claims all religions are equal and true. No, I that's agree. They're equal. So, except for what? You're right. Except that took what? mythology. So they told the same fucking story in Samaria. So you, do you believe that you came from nothing? Oh, sorry, do, do you, you believe you came from nothing? Well, uh, if you go to hell, that's your choice. But I don't want you to go there. Yeah. I don't want wicked women like you to go to hell. No, no, you don't love. You love yourself. You don't love your neighbor. If you're living in sin, you don't love your neighbor. If you're living in sin, you don't love God. The Bible says, if you love God, you will obey God. So let's make it one thing very clear. All of you guys sitting out there don't love God. You love your sin. You love your fear. You don't love Jesus Christ. You do it anyways. You keep on smoking your cigarettes. 
even though you know that it's going to kill you. You keep on committing slow suicide. That's what your cigarette smoking is. It's slow suicide. And the Bible says murderers will not inherit the kingdom of God. So yet that's another reason you're going to hell. Did you know that it took one sin to get Adam and Eve kicked out of the garden? One sin. How many sins have you committed today? How many sins have you committed just today? One sin makes you worthy of hell. See, this sinner is trying to pull a spot in my face. That shows how selfish and unrighteous you are. You don't love your neighbor. You are selfish. You seem just like the devil. Just like the devil. You know what? See, that's why God can't let like you to heaven. Because you keep on being a selfish sinner in heaven. How do you guys feel about my gay son? No comment. Your gay son can come to Christ. You put him to death. You need to preach uh, to your son and you need, tell him to stop you it. You need to find truth. You're a bad father. Yeah, you're, you're damning your son to hell. Oh, I am. Yeah, because okay. you're not telling him the truth. Thank you. There you go. You're not warning him. There you hey, go. Hey, I know people preach that are ex gay. God go. is not going to tolerate your sin. On judgment day, God is going to be and very intolerant. Intolerance and he's going to cast bad That's fathers you like you into hell. Wait, you I, need, have, I have no patience. You, that's right, you don't have patience. That's not a fruit of the spirit. Anyway. Huh? Where was I? Oh yes, you're, you're going to hell. So, you need to repent of your sin. Now I hope, I hope that's not some marital kissing. You say that. I hope that's not some premarital kissing. Oh, homosexuality and fornication is not love. Fornication and homosexuality, sex outside of marriage. Is always lost and never lost. Always lost, never lost. If you love your neighbor, you're not going to use them for an orgasm. If you love your neighbor, you're not going to send them to hell. If you love your neighbor, you're going to care about their well being. If you love your neighbor, you're not going to. Smoke cigarettes around 